Question number 151. Children in metro cities of India suffer from allergies and asthma because they are more sensitive to allergens and have low immunity due to. And the options are vaccination in early stage. Second option is sufficient supply of chemicals like serotonin. Third option is use of different types of soaps and shampoo. And the last option is protected environment provided early in life. And the correct answer to this question is option number four, protected environment provided early in life because children in metro cities have exposure to environment that is protected from environmental pollution from childhood. So they have less antigenic stimulus and therefore sensitivity of their body remains high to allergens and pathogens in nature. So this is the correct answer. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option is vaccination in early stage and this is an incorrect option. Sufficient supply of chemicals like serotonin is also an incorrect option. And next option is use of different types of soaps and shampoo is also an incorrect option because it is exposure to nature which actually provides exposure to allergens or antigens or pathogens and not these factors. So the correct answer to this question is option number four. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 152. Substance which is not used as an anti-allergen is and the options are epinephrine, glucocorticoids, adrenaline and histamine. And the correct answer to this question is option number 4, histamine. In allergic reactions, histamine released by mast cells is inflammatory in nature. It is a main inflammatory mediator which is released by mast cells and basophils. And this inflammatory mediator is responsible for bronchoconstrictions. And vasodilation. Whereas rest of the options, epinephrine, adrenaline and glucocorticoids are the incorrect options because they are used as anti-allergen in allergic reactions. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 153. Lymphocytes which may be considered as connecting link between antibody mediated immunity and cell mediated immunity are and the options are killer T cells, suppressor T cells, helper T cells and B lymphocytes and the correct answer to this question is option number 3 helper T cells. Helper T cells secrete lymphokines that activate killer T cells to destroy non-self cells and activates B cells or B lymphocytes to stimulate B cells to produce antibodies. So these killer T cells will provide cell mediated immunity. And these antibodies will provide antibody mediated immunity. And the connecting link between cell mediated and antibody mediated immunity is helper T cells. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option given is killer T cells and this is an incorrect option. Killer T cells lies non-self cells by creating pores in its cell membrane. The next option is suppressor T cells and this is an incorrect option. The suppressor T cells suppresses the functions of helper T cells and killer T cells. Last option given is B lymphocytes and this is an incorrect option because B lymphocyte produces antibody mediated immunity by producing antibodies. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 154. Bat and insects have no common ancestry 
but both have functional wings for flight. This adaptation for aerial life indicates and the options are adaptive radiation, divergent evolution, convergent evolution and microevolution. And the correct answer to this question is option number three, convergent evolution. Because bat and insects, they have functional wings for flight, which means that the wings in bat and insects, they exhibit functional similarity. And so they are analogous structures. And development of such similar functional characteristics between members of unrelated species in habitats with similar environmental conditions located at different places results in convergent evolution. So the correct answer is option number three. Let's discuss the rest of the options. The very first option given is adaptive radiation and this is an incorrect option. Because adaptive radiation is process of evolution of different species from single species in an isolated geographical area and then its radiation to other areas of geography. So this is an incorrect option. The next option given is divergent evolution and this is an incorrect option. Homologous structures exhibit divergent evolution. And the last option is microevolution and this is an incorrect option because microevolution is change in the allelic frequency that occur over time within a population. So the correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 155. Modern horse whose fossils are associated with Pleistocene epoch is known as and the options are Mesohippus, Merichippus, Equus and Pleohippus and the correct answer to this question is option number 3 Equus. Equus is known as modern horse whose fossils are associated with Pleistocene epoch. So Equus Pleistocene epoch. We will write epoch here. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option given is Mesohippus and this is an incorrect option because Mesohippus Mesohippus fossils are associated with Oligocene epoch. The next option is Merichippus and this is an incorrect option because fossils of Merichippus is associated with Miocene epoch. And the last option is Pleohippus and this is an incorrect option because fossils of Pleohippus is associated with Pleocene epoch. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. 